The 1929 Gibson L3 is a truly iconic guitar. The carved arch top is made of spruce and finished in the legendary rubbed Cremona sunburst or tobacco burst. The guitar has maple back and sides and a rosette of patterned herringbone and celluloid. The tuners, the tailpiece, and the adjustable bridge are all well engineered and well crafted. Overall, it's a very well made and handsome instrument. Many people recognize these guitars because of the Gibson L1 held by Robert Johnson in a famous photograph. One of only three known pictures of the legendary blues man, the photo shows a smiling Johnson in an expensive room wearing an expensive suit and holding an expensive guitar, surely a mighty bounty for whatever he paid the devil at the crossroads. In the 1920s, the guitar as an instrument in America was making its way from the parlors of homes, often played by women, and into the clubs and joints and professional recording studios in a booming music industry. The guitar was, increasingly, one of the main players in the jazz bands that filled the clubs where whites and blacks came together in a scandalous fashion. Social liberation, free-flowing gin, and all-night dancing was a scene in which the professional guitarist was both the bee's knees and the cat's pajamas. The Gibson L3 was made for such scenes. It was designed for professional musicians as an item of luxury and looks. I like to imagine it donning the wall of some Gatsby's lavish home or displayed on a stand in the corner of some chic apartment while the sun also rises. My beads of cigarette, I slouch among the crowd Busy table moving, people music loud My sister won the vote and I'm gonna show some need I'd like to have at least two men talking to me Cause I'm the one Drunk on nothingness, a dame, a dog, a bitch, and I'm the one. 